Welcome to the Think Yourself Healthy podcast, where you meet the intersection of mind, body, and soul. I'm your host, Heather Duranja, founder of Nutrition Vixen, registered dietitian, nutritionist, personal trainer, and cognitive behavioral specialist. I'm a mother, author, self-improvement junkie, and recovering perfectionist turned professional half-asser. Each week, I'll be bringing on a guest or a topic that will help you go from surviving to thriving. Are you with me? All right, here we go with today's episode. All right, guys, on today's show, we have Melissa Martin, who is a business strategist and coach, host of the Boldly Courageous podcast, and co-founder of Ladies Aligned. She specializes in helping women to up-level in their business and break through their money mindset blocks, resulting in deep connection to their bank accounts and business. Melissa is absolutely amazing, and I'm super excited to have her here on today's show. So thank you, Melissa, for being my guest. Thank you, Heather, for having me. If you guys could see us right now, I'm like wiggling in my seat because I know know. this is going to be such a juicy conversation. We're such girls, right? Yes. So, um, yeah, Melissa and I have been trying to make this happen, but unfortunately with both of us having our podcast and our businesses and all kinds of things going on with events and masterminds, it's been a little bit of a challenge to, uh, orchestrate Mm. the coming of the mind. So here we are. It was perfectly timed. Yes. Divine timing. Yes. Yes. We just have to trust in that, right? Amen. (laughs) Amen to that. So today I want to talk to you about so many things. Mm -hmm. Um, Melissa is just absolutely magical. You guys, um, she is literally, if I'm struggling with something and I'm stuck on a word, I tend to really be challenged when it comes to like words and I can go to her and she will be able to just verbally diarrhea, the most (laughs) beautiful mixture of words. Like you are just such a wordsmith. Where does this talent come from? Honestly, it's something that I've been leaning into a lot more. When I started doing more one-to-one coaching in more of a creative aspect. So I have a background in network marketing and I had so much experience coaching through that avenue and I have over 20 years of sales experience. So problem solving is definitely a skill set. However, when I started doing more business coaching outside of the lens of network marketing and really actually tapping into more of my self-care, meditation, really tapping into my gifts and listening to my intuition and paying attention to when I would get downloads, I this gift started to emerge and I started to lean into it a little bit more. So for me, what happens is I will get super present with someone. I will open up my channels and just allow whatever messages need to come through. And it's almost like, like an idea or a word or something will just drop in. And I get like excited, like, Ooh, Ooh, pick me, you know, raising my hand and like that feeling when you get super excited, like I have it. So it's like this process of, um, like, how do I explain it? It's so hard to, it's so hard to explain when things like this happen, but it's, it's almost like problem solving. Mm -hmm. I love, like games and puzzles and like mysteries, like who done it kind of things. And I feel like this is like a gift from my higher power to connect the dots in, in that kind of way and really um, help someone see step one, step two, step three in the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. So I've just been leaning into it a lot more and I love wordsmithing. I love creating acronyms. I love seeing like words that will go together. I use thesaurus a lot. And yeah, it's just super fun. Yeah, it's definitely a gift. I've had the pleasure of spending quite a bit of time with you over these last several months with attending gifts, or gifts, attending events so that we can enhance our gifts as um, professional business women. And you watching you do your magic is just mesmerizing. And you guys, if you haven't seen Melissa, she is just drop dead gorgeous. And anyone who meets her is just literally mesmerized by her angelic eyes. On stage, she literally looks like a goddess floating across the stage, just delivering just immense value and motivation and inspiration. So I encourage you guys to check her out. I'm going to let her um, later in the interview, we're going to talk about a really special event that her and Sandy um, 
have co-founded their uh, in-person event that they do for women, which is going to take place in May. So I'll let her give you all the juicy details about that and how that came about. But um, I wanted to ask you, so you and I are both big believers in investing in ourselves. So for all the listeners out there who are really hesitant because they think they can do it all, they think <laughs> they can do the marketing, they can do, you know, the, the business planning, they can do all of the strategy, they, whatever it is. I know in my case, you know, people think that they can do their diet, do their exercise, do the business, all of it. What is your best piece of advice to individuals out there who are on the fence Oh, look at my Sorry about that. <laughs> no, um, it wouldn't be like real life if we didn't have our dogs involved. So um, anyway, what would, what would your best piece of advice be based on your experience investing in yourself and how it has up-leveled you as a professional and your, in both of your businesses? What would you say to that person on the fence? Such a good question. I'm so glad you asked this. And here's the reality. Yes, you absolutely can do it all by yourself if you want to, if that's the route that you want to go. However, for me, when I think about my clients that I serve um, in my one-to-one coaching practice and also myself, I want the accelerated path. I want to get there faster. I want to get there more efficiently. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because I want more time and space in my life to enjoy the financial abundance that comes in. And also a mindset shift that I had to make that I always help my clients make is that, yes, you may be able to, you know, do all the things yourself. However, there is actually someone else out there that is better at it than you. Mm -hmm. And when you can surrender and invest in those people, number one, you are creating space for yourself to really focus your time and energy on what your zone of genius is, which ultimately will yield you more income than whatever the investment is for you to hire a person right. to delegate those things off your plate. Secondly, what you're doing is you're creating more abundance for other people and really allowing them to step into their gifts. So for example, let's say Heather, that you are an absolute ninja at Facebook ads. It's your passion. You love doing it. And you could literally talk about Facebook ads until you're blue in the face. Now for me, Facebook ads give me hives and not something that I really, not my zone of genius. So if I am forcing myself to invest my time and energy into a skill set that's not my zone of genius, I'm actually robbing you of your joy. Mm -hmm. I'm robbing you of abundance. I'm robbing myself of joy and abundance and no one wins. So when we can look at things from that lens and recognize that when we invest in things that are going to move the needle for ourselves personally, move the needle for our business professionally, when that investment comes from a place of alignment, there is a massive return on that investment and we get to accelerate our growth and get to where we want to go faster, happier, more in alignment and in a more abundant way. And we get to bring other people along with us. So it gets to be this really, really beautiful exchange. I love that. I love the, ab the abundance mindset. Um, that was something that I personally have struggled with for years and years and years. You know, I grew up with a lot of limiting beliefs around financial ability. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was always fear whenever mm -hmm. I made a decision. It always came from a very fear-based place. And for 2019, I decided that I was going to start changing some of those stories. And it was def it's definitely started with um, connection. I knew that I needed to get out there and I needed to connect. And the best way for me to connect was to find those individuals out there who were doing things that they were just killing it at, that I was really lacking in my own personal as well as professional life. And so I sought them out and I invested a ton of money. I just added up um, tax stuff for 2019 and I invested a little over $50,000 in my personal and professional development. 
And if you would have asked me in 2018, would I have ever done that? The question would absolutely not. Hell no, I don't have that kind of money. I'll figure it out on my own. And the beautiful part about what I did last year is that um, I didn't approach it with fear. I approached it with an open heart and excitement of whatever possibility and opportunity and growth was going to come from whatever the experience was. And in the end, the abundance that I have received from all of these experiences and investments is tenfold like Mm -hmm. literally life changing. I am so excited to take everything that I learned in 2019, all of the abundant relationships that I developed like with you to um, really be able to enhance the uh, vision that I have for what I'm trying to do and create more awareness and a bigger impact out there specifically with individuals who are, you know, in that mindset of surviving and helping them cross over to thriving. So Mm. it's really exciting stuff. And, um, it wasn't easy. So give, give me some advice on how to get started. On how to get started with, with, with With changing, well, with changing your mindset, letting go of the fear of the investment Mm. and, you know, branching that over to more of the abundance mindset. Mm. Yeah. So I feel like the first place to start is really just awareness Mm -hmm. around your thoughts. Awareness is the key to everything. Truly. It's what will allow you to shift whatever it is that you want to shift in your life. So I'll give you an example for me. When I started really paying attention to and wanting, there was a true desire to want to get out of the energetics that I was in, living in this cycle with money and, and feeling like the relationship that I had with money was not a good one. Like if you were to really sit back and look at the relationship that you have with money in the context of other relationships in your life, let's say it was a a romantic partner or a friendship, how would you define that relationship? Is it one that feels supportive? Is it one that you feel like there's an equal energy exchange and it's really co-creative? Or is it one that feels really stressful, that feels resentful? Like what are the emotions that come up when you think about the relationship with your money? And I was really tired of feeling unworthy, feeling like my self-worth was only tied to my net worth, Mm -hmm. feeling like there was never enough And I was always bombarded with bills. I had a terrible relationship with my debt. So the first step for me really was recognizing that I wanted to make a change. And once that happened, the next step was, okay, if I want to change my reality, I need to go all the way back to the very beginning because our beliefs are the things that create our emotion, our, our emotions create our thoughts, our thoughts create our actions, our actions create our reality. So I wasn't happy with the reality that I had and I had to go all the way back to the beliefs. And in order for me to really get clear on what my beliefs were, I had to bring an awareness to my thoughts. So the first thing that I started to notice was that whenever an opportunity came up, whether it was to invest in a course, if I saw someone promoting a product or an experience, And my soul would go, Ooh, yes. Like, boom, I would get the hit. This feels awesome. The immediate next thought I would have is, Oh, but how much does it cost? I probably can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And it was this roller coaster of this like high and then a crash. Mm -hmm. And I started to pay attention to that going, where did this come from? Where, where is this belief coming from? And I started to pay attention to that. And once you have an awareness of the thought, now you get to decide is this, a, is this a thought that serves me or is it something that I want to do work around and can I shift it? See, we get triggered left and right with things all day long and that's an actually a beautiful gift and money is such a powerful trigger. It triggers everything, right? right. And it, it gets to be a magnifier or an amplifier for whatever the underlying belief or emotion is. So for me, every time that excitement would come up, I knew that it was something that was in alignment for me because I would get these butterflies in my stomach and I would get really excited and I would say, yes, that's for me. And then the immediate thought after was my ego coming in and saying, you're not good enough. You can't afford that. 
that's never going to work, all the limiting beliefs. Mm -hmm. So I had to start shifting that and start digging into that a little bit deeper and just going literally one limiting belief at a time and then deciding where can I shift this and how can I get out of this energy of lack and how can I move into an energy of abundance? Mm -hmm. And then the next sort of component to all of that is shifting your mindset around what abundance looks like. Oftentimes I think we view abundance as the dollar amount in our bank account, but I'm sitting here in a 4,000 square foot house on a golf course in Southern California, looking at my Peloton, sitting in a pair of Lululemons with my MacBook while I'm doing a podcast with you and my iPhone is right next to me. Like that's abundant AF, right? right. Even, <laughs> even if my bank account Gold. doesn't reflect that, right? like I'm looking at like mountains and it's sunny out and I'm in California and I have healthy food in my body and my hair looks amazing and I'm talking to you and we have an amazing relationship. That's relationship capital. Like yeah, we're so abundant in so many ways. We just don't stop to recognize and then have deep, deep gratitude for it. Right. So, so really leaning into that yeah. gratitude piece. Yeah. And, and those, those couple of things, like recognizing that I wanted to shift something, getting really clear on the awareness around my thoughts, deciding if they served me or not, paying attention to abundance and really having deep, a deep sense of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Those things have shifted everything for me. And obviously there's more to build on that, but I mean, and this costs nothing, right? Like, you don't, it doesn't take any money. You don't have to buy a course or invest in anything right? to begin yeah. to shift your perspective. Yeah, I love that. I, I remember for me when I had the realization of how deeply rooted my limiting beliefs were around money, I was at Target. And I, I love was Target. It's always at Target. Right? I know, right? <laughs> I was at Target, and I went there to purchase. I don't. I don't like to shop in stores too often. It. It's just. I, it's not fun for me anymore. I'd prefer to just get everything shipped to my house. But I had to venture out, grab a few necessity type things, and I was pulling things off the shelf. And as I'm pulling one, I'm like, oh no, I better get two. Oh no, I really need six. I need six because what if I can't afford it next <gasps> month? And so yes. literally everything that was going in my cart was going in my cart out of fear. It was, I was literally choosing based on the thought that I was, a, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to purchase the things the next month because the money wasn't going to come to me. And so when I got home and I'm like trying to unpack this stuff and I'm looking for spots to put it and I'm like, oh my God, I have so much shit here. Like, what is all of this? It really made me recognize, oh my God, this is what my mom and my grandma did. Mm. They used to purchase things in bulk and stock up on it because of the fear around not knowing whether or not they were going to have it again. And so I realized with my grandmother, she grew up in that age of the depression, you mm -hmm. know, the Great Depression. And so that was just really drilled into their thought process. And then that carried over into my mother. And then I was exposed to my mother's behavior. So that carried into me. So for me, I am definitely breaking the cycle because I don't want my daughters to have that same kind of fear around money. And I want them to be able to have more of an abundant mindset when it comes to their potential. Um, but yeah, that was really like one of those just eye opening moments for me of just awareness, like, mm. holy crap, this is kind of sick. Yeah. And it's like these things that we're just doing on autopilot. Yeah. Right. Like we're just That's, kind of asleep. Yeah. And then all of a sudden when you can pause and have a little bit of awareness, you're like, uh, what am I doing? Wait, yes. What? Wait, what? <laughs> well, and the really sad thing for me about that whole thing is that I was making those decisions month after month after month mm -hmm. for, for years of my life, right? Guess what? The universe, I constantly was able to provide for myself. Mm -hmm. So it literally was the deep root of that narrative, that story, that ego part of me that was believing that and 
you know, causing me to take those kind of actions. Mm. So now I'm intentionally only buy exactly what I need because otherwise it's just a waste of space. <laughs> I don't need it all. Right. Right. And it's trusting that you're abundantly supported and that the universe will deliver exactly what you need when you need it. And yeah, when we operate from that scarcity mindset, mm -hmm. not only are we not having faith in abundance, that is our right. And universally as humans, we're also not putting any trust and faith in our own ability to create more wealth. Right. And we're playing small. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I do a lot of work with energy healers mm -hmm. and, um, I have an intuitive therapist that I have been working with. And last week, or actually earlier this week, I had a major, major, major breakthrough. And ultimately what I ended up discovering is that throughout my history of existence and relationships with men, the driving factor of why I chose to stay in certain situations, even though I knew they were not serving me, was for security purposes. And with each relationship that I left, I found myself in an even more unfortunate circumstance than the one that I had previously left. Mm -hmm. And so through all of this work that I have been doing, I was able to have the awareness that I was not learning the lesson the first time. And the lesson was that I needed to trust myself, that I had all of the abilities, all of the skills, all of the strength that I needed mm -hmm. to take care of myself and my children, but I couldn't fully trust in that. So I would move from one situation to the next and each time it would be more traumatic than the one before. And this was, you know, whatever karma, my, my, the universe saying to me, oh, that wasn't bad enough for you to learn the lesson. Let's make it a little darker. Oh, that wasn't dark enough. Oh, okay, well, maybe if we make it a little darker, maybe you'll get it this time. And so for me, it was really exciting to really have that understanding around the traumas that I have experienced and being able to take responsibility for my actions. And the reality is I am responsible for not trusting in myself Mm -hmm. And that is where the root of all of that trauma began in order for me to finally mm -hmm. learn the lesson that I am enough. That's so beautiful. I just want to acknowledge you for sharing that because I know that that's going to give a lot of people so much permission. And it goes back to what we were talking about earlier, that money is a really powerful amplifier for underlying emotions. I feel like it is the most potent magnifying glass for every underlying issue in our life, truly. Mm. And what it was, what it was magnifying for you was, you know, safety yes, and security. Yes. It's such a big thing. And also the difference between need and want in mm -hmm. a relationship oftentimes rises and falls on financial security. Right. You know, what would it look like for you to show up in a relationship and be so financially abundant that it's irrelevant you know, if the partner that you're with makes more than you or not. Right. And I see a lot of women in particular falling into this trap of being in a relationship with someone who is abundant and support supports them. I'm using support in air quotes. Mm -hmm. And then if that relationship falls apart, now they're, they're stuck, right? How do I support myself? And perhaps would have left the relationship much sooner because it didn't serve them. However, they were stuck in an energy of need right. versus want. And so what a beautiful gift for you to be able to really dive in and do the work and figure out, you know, how can I become whole mm -hmm. myself, both, you know, energetically, emotionally, physically, financially whole, and so that when I step into a relationship, it's from a want perspective, not a need. That's right. so beautiful. Well, and I think the other component that works against us when we are in that mindset of need is that we basically put all of our worth 
all of our worthiness and deserving in that relationship for the financial security purposes. And then when we are no, like whatever the situation might be, um, and that relationship comes to an end and we don't have that financial security, it is, it's, it's devastating. You know, most women and, and some men I'm sure feel as if, they, ha they have no idea where to go from there. Like mm -hmm. literally they feel like their life is over, that they have failed in every single way. They have no idea what is next for them, which elicits more fear and panic. We know how detrimental that is to um, our central nervous system mm -hmm. and the, you know, it wreaks havoc on our overall health. And so I feel like there's a lot of people out there, specifically women struggling um, and their body is telling them all of the things, right? By presenting all of these symptoms and these disease states, and they're just ignoring all of it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just really, it's a fascinating, fascinating concept. So I feel completely blessed that I have been doing the work and having these moment, these literally life-changing moments, like just life-changing. Mm -hmm. It was so freeing. It was just literally so freeing to have this awareness and realization, but most importantly, to be able to take the responsibility in it and then also yeah. offer up forgiveness for the person who had hurt me in that process that, you know, um, was associated with the traumatic experiences. It just felt really freeing. Mm. That's beautiful because it also now gives you choices of how you want to move forward. Yeah. And I also and like feel you said, like- the it like, frees up space for more abundance to come into my life because now I'm not harboring all of this negative crap, right? And you're right about the patterns. Like the universe will continue to repeat patterns so that we can learn a lesson. Like that's why we're here, right? In this human experience to, to learn and evolve and grow, right? right? And and have more consciousness around how we be. And patterns will continue to repeat themselves until we learn the lesson. Right. So again, that awareness is everything because then it gives you an opportunity to step back and really look at it and say, oh, that's interesting. Okay, I wanna shift this. What, what's the first step? So right. the awareness is, is key. And I think a lot of us just, again, we, we're so used to our patterns. We're so used to our habits that it, it, sometimes really traumatic things have to happen in order to pattern interrupt and wake us up to really look at the reality of our situation and where we're not living in alignment. Right. Absolutely. So with this all being said, I want to transition into how this actually um, aligns with your mission and what you and Sandy are doing for women. Can you talk to us about that? Yeah. So back in 2018, my business, my best friend and I um, co-founded a company called Ladies Aligned. And it was kind of on accident. We were two boss babes just supporting each other in each other's businesses. Sandy is a meditation teacher and a ninja when it comes to branding and marketing. And I was um, really focusing in on money mindset and business strategy. And we decided to partner up because we kept having conversations just like this and seeing that women that we were coaching and in our lives were really getting stuck in their businesses in two main areas, self-care and burnout and money mindset and abundance. And as a result, they were feeling really stuck on what their own roadmap to success looked like because they were trying to do it, you know, based on somebody else's roadmap, not right. their own. So we felt this call to really combine our expertise and help women through the tools of self-care, money mindset, and providing them with a roadmap to success. And that's basically our alignment model. That's everything that Ladies Align has been built on is really helping women to get unstuck, uncover their unique gifts and rise so they can live and serve from a place of alignment. And, and here's the reality. If you are burnt out, hustling, your adrenals are tapped out, you're exhausted, and you're not open to receiving abundance in the form of love, support, money, friendships, et cetera. And you're, you're coming from a place of lack and need and you know your money mindset is total crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you possibly going to create from that place? 
right? right? And this is what keeps so many female entrepreneurs and just women in general, you don't have to be an entrepreneur, but keeps them stuck in really stepping into their full potential because their creative taps are turned off. They're operating from a place of lack and fear and just stuck in this stuck energy. And so our mission is really to help women move through that and tap into a deep foundation of self-care so that they have a cup that is overflowing so that they can create from this place of pure abundance and be open to receive money, be open to receive love and support. And when you create from that place, oh my gosh, like everyone benefits. You benefit, your clients benefit, you become a magnet. People just naturally want to gravitate to you because you're so in alignment. You're so overflowing with all the things. And it's been one of the greatest journeys of my business career, my life to really be able to sit down with a woman and so clearly see her gifts and help her move through this process of really tapping into her truth, Mm -hmm. owning it unapologetically and just serving so many other people from that place. It's freaking awesome. That's it's beautiful. And I know that, so this will be your second event in person event that you're doing. Is that correct? So can you tell me details? Can you tell us details about that event and how people can find out and participate? Because I don't know about y'all, but I definitely don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Yes. Yeah, so Align and Rise 2020 is May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in Saratoga Springs, New York. And we created this event because we believe that women really need to get out of their everyday life for that pattern interrupt that we were talking about before. We need to immerse them in a container of support and like-minded sisterhood and real transformation. Mm-hmm. And we were so tired of getting on airplanes and flying to California (laughs) to get this type of transformation. And we're both from upstate New York. So that's why we created it in Saratoga Springs. So here's what you can expect from Align and Rise. There's really three components to the event. Friday night is our VIP like cocktail soiree, if you want to call it. And this is for the woman that is really ready to go deep. Like she wants to elevate fast She's ready to burn the boats and just go all in and have the most transformative experience possible. So what happens on Friday night is it's kind of like an activation ceremony. We're going to go deep on some meditation. We're going to be doing some sound bath healing, and there's going to be an opportunity for you to mix and mingle with the other women. And we don't small talk. We are all about diving right in and deep connection and really opening up the space for you to receive everything else that's going to come for the weekend and also holding the space and being, being the advocates for the women that are going to come into the room on Saturday, because for them, they're, they're looking for that sisterhood and you've already been primed and ready. So that's the VIP. And of course there's like cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. We're going to have an exclusive shopping experience. And it really is an experience with a woman named Heather Wells of Love 13. It's spiritual glamour. So these are incredibly potent, highly charged crystal bracelets that are healing and activating on so many levels. And it's really a shopping experience because she does energy clearing and it's just a whole vibe. And we're going to have this most talented musician, healer, life changer by the name of Monique Benabou facilitating Mm -hmm. our healing sound bath. And she's just, every time I hear her sing, I get goosebumps. So that's Friday night. That's the VIP. I'm already sold. I know, right? (laughs) Oh my gosh. And then Saturday morning, we start our general session for general admission. And we start the day with movement. A woman by the name of Tara Romano founded this company called Tone and Tease. And this is all about getting out of your head and getting into your body. Um, tapping into your feminine energy because Saturday is very much about feminine energy, getting out of your heads, getting into your body, like really getting into like the womb space. And this is where we create from. So we're starting with movement and then the day is going to flow through self-care. We're going to talk about money mindset, reprogramming old belief patterns. We have a woman by the name of Lori Harder that's going to be speaking on what is it that you want to declare for 2020 and how to really shift and step into your purpose. 
And um, so, yeah, Saturday is really, if I could sum it up with an analogy, Saturday is like taking Windex to a mirror that's covered in mud and wiping it away so that you can really see yourself and your gifts so clearly. So a lot of personal development work, a lot of energy work, a lot of motivation and inspiration. And we purposefully leave Saturday night open for connection. So you'll meet your, your best, your bestie there, your new boss, babe, maybe a new business partner. And we really want to encourage women to go out and connect and have dinner. And then Sunday we shift a little bit into the masculine. So we're going to start the day with a really amazing, um, yoga session called the line and flow. And it just grounds you down in. And Sunday we take you through all the business strategy. We're going to have women there from Forbes business teaching you all about how to get published women from goop. We're going to have some elite level business coaches that are going to teach you how to show up on social media, how to brand yourself, how to speak to your ideal client. And yeah, so su Sunday is really about giving you the roadmap. So Saturday you see yourself and your gifts so clearly Sunday is all about taking action and really activating and stepping in it and how to do it. Wow. Like, oh my <laughs> gosh. Wow. It sounds like an incredible experience. I know I'm definitely going to be securing my ticket. I do yes. not want to miss out on an opportunity to be in a room with so many loving souls who are out there trying to really mm. make change and um, just elevate. I, I want to be part of that vibration for sure. So ladies, cool. if you've been thinking about doing something different, you're looking for your your new tribe, you definitely do not want to miss out on this opportunity mm -hmm. to really experience all of it, yes. all of it in yes. one weekend. Oh my it's gosh. Amazing. I'm not tooting my own horn, but it's pretty freaking awesome. Last well, year was incredible. And just to see that what women are doing, some of them are publishing books, starting businesses, hosting retreats. The group is so connected. And for the woman that's thinking, that sounds great, but. I don't know anybody or I would go by myself. We do a lot of pre-event integration in a private Facebook group. So mm. you really do get to know the women that are going to be there ahead of time. And we also do post-event integration, which is super unique so that not only are you ready the moment you step in the door, let's be real. Like the transformation begins the moment you buy your ticket, right? That's, that's where the real transformation begins. And we want to make sure that we remove any barrier to you actually showing up. So the, the yeah. connection that you make ahead of time, is amazing. And then we want to ride that train as long as we can afterwards. Cause you go back into your real life and right. your triggers and all the stuff and yeah. you come out of the bubble. So we try to create that bubble and make it as long lasting right. as possible. That's awesome. Well, and I just want to say to the listeners, especially that woman out there who is thinking, Oh, I'd have to go alone. I don't know anyone. To be perfectly honest, I have had the most abundant experiences when I have gone alone instead mm -hmm. of having one of my besties or, you know, a, another business colleague um, tack along. I find myself being way more vulnerable and open to receiving whatever mm -hmm. comes my way. So I encourage you that if you're that woman out there who's constantly feeling like they need the buddy. This is going to be a perfect opportunity for you to really dive in, have that time to yourself to really identify what your needs are and expand in an abundant way with the most massively impactful woman, women. I mean, the lineup of the speakers, I mean, you and Sandy and all Lori, oh my gosh, like seriously, mm -hmm. it's going to be, it's going to be a thing. It's mm -hmm. definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. And this, this kind of goes back to what we were saying earlier about when you invest in yourself, not only when you make an investment to go to an event like this mm -hmm. or join an elite level mastermind, yet the return on that investment shows up in several ways. One, it will definitely show up financially, right? Because you can earn more, make more. Um, but it also shows up in terms of relationship capital and Getting to events is the way that Sandy and I have been able to facilitate the relationships with the women that we have speaking on stage. We have personal relationships with every single woman. We really, really think long and hard about the type of energy that we want to create, the transformation that we want to curate. And we really don't allow anyone on our stage that we don't already have a deep, intimate relationship mm -hmm. with. And 
you have to be super intentional about putting yourself in the rooms and curating those types of relationships because that relationship capital, you can have $0 in your bank account, right? right? You can have $0 in your bank account. And if you have amazing relationship capital, you are one conversation, one coffee date, one meetup away from creating a business, creating a product, signing a client. Relationship Absolutely. capital is the fastest way to abundance, hands down 100%. So I could not agree with you more. Honestly, for 2019, I made that word connection. Mm -hmm. I invested in going to the events and the ROI on my relationship capital alone is priceless. Like mm -hmm. I, I mean, being able to have an opportunity to connect with you and all of the other girls and the relationship that we have curated and all of the fun and exciting things that we have coming up. Hence Greece. I am yes. so excited. Um, these things wouldn't have been possible. And you, no, we and, met I live, an event. you and I literally live miles from each other <laughs> and we would have never known. Mm -mm. We, would have we never met known. at an event in New York City and we both live in California. How funny yeah, is that? Like right? literally miles away from each mm -hmm. other and California is pretty big guys. So yeah, yeah I, I can't agree enough. Um, the relationship capital is priceless. And if you utilize those relationships in an authentic way and you support your sisters, it will come back to you financially. Amen. So I know that you, the listener, I'm talking to you right now, <laughs> you're sitting there thinking to yourself, man, this sounds good. And you're probably having that gut hit going, Ooh, I want to be there. And then, Oh, can I make it happen? What does it cost? What if I don't know anybody, all the, all the stuff, trust the gut hit that if this sounds like it's for you, it's for you. And you just have to shift out of the mindset of, I can't afford this, or that's impossible to how can I make this happen? Because yes. I promise when you decide on something and you click the button and you invest, the transformation happens immediately before you even step in the room. Just getting the ticket and saying yes to yourself is the transformation. So if you want more info, you can either DM me at Ladies Aligned on Instagram, or you can go right to our Ladies Aligned website. It's ladiesaligned.com slash align and rise 2020. And as a special gift for all of the listeners, cause I love you, Heather, and I love Aww. your listeners. You can use code aligned 50 to receive $50 off your general admission ticket. Aww. So that's my gift to you. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure having you on today. And I know that there's a lot of people who are going to listen to this conversation and if anything, it's definitely going to stir up some thoughts. It's mm -hmm. definitely going to stir up some thoughts, which will hopefully awaken some, some action, some you know, desire to want to do things a little bit differently, think mm -hmm. about things a little differently. I wanted to mention this um, quote that I heard earlier today as we were talking. There's this quote that I came across on Instagram, and it says, Thinking is the drug we are all addicted to without realizing it. And when I read that, I thought, man, if that isn't the truth. <laughs> mm. I have thought my way out of so many amazing opportunities so many times. And when I just get out of my head and into my heart and feel into yeah. my body yeah. and just get out of my own way and surrender and allow myself and trust my intuition every single time magic happens. And even recently there have been situations that have come up where instinctually and intuitively my body says one thing and I talk myself out of it mm -hmm. and I've paid the price for it. So just yeah. trust when you get that gut hit, when you get those butterflies for you, it might be something different for me. It's like an adrenaline rush, like an excitement, almost like a nervousness in my belly. Mm -hmm. Some people, their palms itch. Some people get tingly, you know, get chills. Just trust that. Yeah. Just trust it. Because it's, it's never best, wrong. It's mm -hmm. one of the best gifts we possess. Mm -hmm. It really We're is. powerful. Women are like magic. Absolutely. Hail to the woman. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing with us today. I will definitely make sure that in the notes, everyone will be able to find out how to connect with you and get all of the exciting information so that they can go and purchase their ticket for Align and Rise. I better see you guys there. It's going to be epic. You are not going to want to miss out on this kind of energy. 
honestly, I, I really don't think that there are any other events out there that are so well curated for an abundance mindset that is going to raise your vibration and open up a whole new world of possibility that you never imagined was in your wildest dreams. Mm. So I received yeah, very all exciting. Of that. Mm. Oh, I love you. Love you, girl. Thank you so much for Thank this. Thank you. Thank you so much for spending this time with me on the Think Yourself Healthy podcast. I'm so grateful that you stopped by. If you could just take a minute to share this episode with someone you think who would love it, it would be amazing. Take a screenshot that you've listened to the episode and tag at Think Yourself Healthy and myself at Nutrition Vixen so that I can share it. Leave a review on iTunes to let us know how much you loved being here and what you want to hear next. Until next time, don't forget to think yourself healthy. Thanks again, guys. Bye.